Hello, world. So it has been several months since my last fight analysis video. If you're not a subscriber of my channel, then you haven't heard me talk about my dream of recreating the fight analysis scene from Civil War. And that's where Iron Man uh, analyzed Captain America's fight patterns and was able to counter it. And I just thought that was really cool and I wanted to do that myself. So I've been using Python, OpenCV, and the media pipe library to do fist detection but it only gives you the x and y coordinates and i didn't know how to do the distance part of it and so i neglected the project um until recently i saw uh, from one of the best youtubers doing camera vision his name is mirzada's workshop and he showed you how to do distance and it's kind of ingenious and I'm kind of upset I didn't think about it um, now that I saw his solution. And I'll leave a link in the description for his video on how to do this. And so let's check out what I did real quick. Okay, so we have this video and we're able to do this fits detection. And I, it says right fist. I put it in green. I hope you can see that. And what we're going to do is just get closer and closer to the camera until it turns red. So there you go. We're kind of close. So let's back up. So it says right fist. So it's even able to do it while I'm doing this. And then as it gets closer, there we go. Right fist. And let's see the left fist. Okay, so we're coming in. Going to punch you in the face. There we go. Left fist. Oops. All right. So that's how it works. Now, I've gotten asked this question before. The only reason why I'm drawing a square and the words right and left fist is for you, the viewer of this YouTube channel, and for testing. In real life, I would not track it like that. And that would be the signal, uh, instead of drawing a rectangle and saying right fist, it would be a signal to do something, right? So if I'm doing robotics or some sort of audible or some, something of that nature. Um, so let's dive into the code, but before we do that, Welcome to the 163rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please consider subscribing to my channel so you can continue watching me uh, build this project or any Python project and uh, like this video and leave a comment. So make sure you check out my previous video to see where I left off. And in the last one, we did the bounding box around the fist. Um, so we're gonna continue down that. So what we did was basically we looked at the coordinates for two points of our hand. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So what we did was for the fist detection, we started looking at two points, and when those points went below here, that was a fist. So now we're gonna take that one step further, and Mirzada's workshop figured out, hey, since you can only get the X and Y coordinates, why don't you get the distance between here, five and 17, right? And not just here, the actual diagonal distance of it, so as it goes farther away from you, then this 5 to 17 distance gets smaller. And as it gets closer to the camera, it gets bigger. And that is how you can determine distance. So we're using points 5 and 17. So uh, this is point 7. So that's what I used right here. If this goes below point 5 and above point 0, that's a fist. Then we did 0.5 for the fist detection, but we're also going to do the distance detection. And so if 
the landmark five. That's what this is, the landmarks here, right? And then we're going to get the X and Y coordinate of the um, number five, the landmark number five. And that's found in index, the second index or the second um, value in these landmarks, which is one and two. The zero with index or your first part of it is the ID number. Then we used number 17, right? And then we're going to get the uh, second X position and second Y position. Um, and then we use 19 right here to show when that goes below this point right here, when 19 goes below but above zero, that's a fist, right? That was in the previous video. And then landmark zero was also used in the fist detection. Now for the distance detection, um, just use a simple formula. So distance, and we're just going to get the integer, is math. So make sure you uh, import math if you're following along. Dot the square root. And then we're going to take y2 minus y1. Then we're going to square that plus the x coordinate minus the x coordinate of this one. Square that, right? Then we add those together. And then we're going to print the distance. That's what you were seeing down here, and I'll show you again. So what we did was, in the previous video, if the index of y is greater than the hand bottom, and the index of y is above or I'm sorry, if the index of y is greater than the hand bottom and the index of y is lower than the mid, right, which is right here. So if it's in between here, um, then we check for the distance. So if the distance is 170, which is the this calculation right here, then we changed it to red, right? Blue, green, red else so anything else so greater than 170 is gr uh, red color oh, i'm sorry yeah if the distance is greater than 170 it's red right i think that this is bgr then else the color is green then we did the same hands detection where we draw uh, drew a rectangle the color determines on the distance and then um this code is to determine if it's a right fist or a left fist by basically taking the um, screen and cutting it in half. And I showed you some limitations of doing that. What I really need to do is um, get the position of these points right here. And if five, the X coordinate, so this, the you know, the um, horizontal coordinate is greater than 17 then it's probably a right fist, but you have to be careful with that because what if I turn my hand, right? So I just haven't figured out the uh, how I want to approach that yet. But basically, if the index, my index finger is on the right side of the screen, it's a right fist. If it's on the left, yes, there's a lot of Im uh, limitations to that. No other changes to the code, except I did put a try and accept. Um, from the previous video so we're going to try the camera vision function and then if your camera is not my webcams not plugged in um, it's just going to yell at me and say you don't have the selected webcam turned on so now that we went through all the um, code let's look at this distance down here and check it out one more time okay so you can see nothing is being printed out and then I bring my hand in Okay, so we have my right fist. Now it's the green color right now because the distance is below 170. And as you can see, as it gets closer and closer, the distance is increasing. And then, boom, it turns red. Let's see if I, oh, right on the border of it. Oh, oh, going back and forth. And then it goes red um, all the way until it hits you. It's having a hard time di differentiating right and left screen. Boom, right fist. Okay, let's check it on the left side. So we have a left fist. So we're getting closer. We 
you can see at the lower left the distance there we go oh. left fist about to punch you there you go now it's red meaning it's about to punch you green red green oh, oh, oh. red all right so that's it please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching me build this program or my digital assistant and thanks for watching goodbye world